welcome back to my channel Kiv India. This is going to be one more very informative video. If you are wanting to be a registered doctor in New Zealand or you want to do your fellowship, research or your PG internships here. So this video will be very helpful for you and I'll be covering every single exam that you need to take, the process you need to follow, the options that you have and the pathways that you have and uh, how long that will take, what is the fees details, every single detail in this. So I hope this is going to be very, very helpful for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. So in this video, I'll be talking about the examination, which will help you to get into the registration and the registration process where you can choose from the different pathways that are available. This is going to be a two part video. So first I'll begin with the examination. So before we go into the detail of the examination, there's few things that you have to know, which is 15,000 doctors are registered or more than 15,000 doctors are registered in New Zealand every year and in 2020 because of the pandemic there is no registration or there is no examinations that has been taken place so the Medical Council of New Zealand is only accepting the application from uh, April 6, 2021. So the first exam will be in June 2021. So there is very limited spaces available as they mentioned on the website. So once those are full, uh, there will be another exam in November 2021. The examination that you'll be taking is NZREX. For this examination, the application fee will be $766 and the examination fee is $4,220 dollars this is new zealand dollars also you can do multiple attempts for this exam you can take multiple attempts and once you have taken the exam and you get the result that is valid for five years and the passing percentage is 60 percent if at all you fail the exam Medical Council will give you a detailed description of why you have been failed and what are the subjects you need to concentrate on. Also, you need to send your applications by post. And if at all, once you have done your application, you know, you have paid the fee and all that, and you want to withdraw or the transfer or move on to the different dates, then you have to do that six weeks prior before the exam, six weeks before the exam. Also, uh, it's not just the exam that you take and then you get into the pathway. Prior to that, you need to do your IELTS exam as well, where you need to have seven band for the overall score and uh, for writing and uh, reading seven and uh, listening and speaking has to be 7.5. There should not be anything lesser than any of these bands. Also, uh, for doing NZREX, uh, there's few examinations uh, that you have to take. Only then you are eligible to do the NZREX examination. It's not like any other country, New Zealand, uh, that you just go with one exam and get into the pathway. Uh, registering as a doctor in New Zealand is a complex procedure. OSCE format is used for this examination. You will have 16 stations during the 3 hour exam where you will be tested with both your clinical skills and medical knowledge. An application process takes 20 working days and this exam is held in Auckland. To prepare for this exam, there is a lot of recommendation for which books you have to prepare from on the website. Coming into the registration process, uh, first and foremost, what I would recommend is there is a self-assessment tool in the Medical Council of New Zealand website. So if you can go there and follow, you know, those steps, that will be very easy for you guys uh, to get to know what is the correct pathway that you have to get into. And then that will make it much easier for you. And there is uh, three different pathways or to get registered as a doctor in New Zealand which is uh, general, occasional and special. So for the general one, you have to take uh, PLAB, AMC or any of these exams and then NZREX once you have done with those examinations. If you're from any of these countries like UK, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, if you graduated from these countries, then it's much easier just get into the PG. Also, that is a paid internship. You'll having the paid internship during when you're doing the PG as well. But you have to be graduated from any of these countries that I've mentioned here. Coming to the vocational one, from the research that I've done, vocational pathway is the correct one or the perfect one for 
any of the medical graduates or uh, the PhD graduates from India who want to register in New Zealand and this will also give you a chance to get the permanent residency as well here in New Zealand. The procedure is little complex because uh, once you've done your exam which is NZRX and everything and you've passed your exam then you need to have a job employment uh, available here in New Zealand. So if you have a job readily available, then you can apply for the residency and you can directly, you can register, you can apply for the residency in, uh, in New Zealand and you can move here. So this is a pathway that is available for most of the Indian graduates, medical graduates. Uh, if you have done your PG and you want to move to New Zealand uh, as a registered doctor and get the permanent residence, vocational pathway is the best one that you have to choose but the only complex thing here is once you've done your exam you need to have the job available you need to find the job only then you can apply for this uh, pathway to move into the New Zealand but the special one unfortunately Indians we don't qualify for that because uh, you need to have three to four years of clinical experience you should have gained this experience from any of these licensed 22 countries that I'll be mentioning here unfortunately India is not one of them so that's the reason occasional is the best pathway for Indian medical graduates uh, uh, postgraduate especially so if you are looking to move to New Zealand and register here as a doctor this is one thing that I would recommend as I mentioned go on to the medical New Zealand website there is a self-assessment tool do that and you'll be getting the correct one like what will be the right one right pathway that you have to follow to register as a doctor here in New Zealand. I hope you all like this video and it has been helpful and made it a little easier for you. Like the video, do give me a like uh, and do share with your friends and whoever wants to know about this information. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel Kiwi India. I'll see you all very soon. Stay safe. Thank you.